Now, the, these blessings will exceed the splendor of David and Solomon. In terms of borders, you can find those borders in Genesis 15, verse 38. When you speak of the West Bank, you can ask the person, which river did you have in mind? Because it's not the Jordan that's the boundary, it's the Euphrates. Big deal. And uh, there's a 34 square mile section set aside for the priests, the Levites, the temple. That's all diagrammed for you in our commentary on Ezekiel 48. And so uh, uh, you want to dig into that. The Mount of Olives, Je Zechariah tells us, will be split like the Arabah, like a big uh, 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 um, fault through there. The rift from the Sea of Galilee to the Dead Sea. Wow, is the, is the, the uh, uh, rift of Arabah. And uh, this is going to be the site of the fourth temple, the, the millennial temple, the one that we believe is described in the last nine chapters of Ezekiel. And uh, that's where his throne will be. It's not just a temple. We use the term temple, but it's also going to be a palace. And the floor plan is laid out in detail. It's worth your study. The Shekinah departed from the temple back in Ezekiel 10 and so on. It will now descend through the east gate, according to Ezekiel 43. People ask, why are there sacrifices? All these sacrifices are talked about. For the same reason we had sacrifices in the Old Testament. They were nothing, no one was, um, none of those sacrifices paid for their sins. It was just a memorial in anticipation of the payment that was made at the cross. And so they were memorials in advance in the Old Testament, and there will be memorials after the fact in the New Testament. And this is all described in the epistle of the Hebrews, chapter 9, especially verse 12. See, none of the Old Testament were efficacious. They were representative. They were prophetic is the point. And so you want to read the epistle of Hebrews, chapters 9 and 10, which goes into all of that. And so these, in the future, are also soon to be memorial or an instructive. And... Uh, now, the covenant with Israel includes promises regarding the land, Jacob's blessings for Jude, and so forth. That's all in Genesis 49, among other places. And uh, the water from the house in Jerusalem is in Ezekiel 47, as I've mentioned. It's also alluded to in, in uh, Zechariah 14.8. The Feast of Tabernacles will be worshipped globally. Zechariah will discover that all the nations will observe the Feast of Tabernacles. We'll also discover that, uh, you know, that Luke even makes... In the Gospel of Luke, we have mention of the church leadership over the Gentile cities. We know the apostles will, the twelve apostles will rule over the twelve tribes. That's in both Matthew 19 and Luke 22. And the word shittim is a, is a Hebrew term for acacia trees. And the same term for the burning bush, the tabernacle, and so forth. So the valley of shittim may be just a, an allusion to, to these goings on. It's, a, it's on the border between Moab and Israel beyond the Jordan. It's the last place that Israel camped east of the Jordan before entering the land of Canaan. It's known for its dryness, but now it's going to be well watered is the point he's making here. The curse is lifted for every creature on the planet Earth except for the serpent, by the way. That's an interesting twist you may want to dig into.